The Colonels wrapped up the 2013 season looking as if they were headed towards a brighter future, but it didn't come without its bumps and bruises. Despite an extraordinary number of injured veteran players, the team managed four wins, including a conference victory and a triumph over an FBS program. Although this faction expected to have more success, they're still proud that this program is changing for the better. There was nowhere to go but up for this year's squad, coming off back-to-back single-win seasons. They were ready for a breakthrough campaign, and while they fell short in some areas, overall there was a noticeable progress. Well, last year's season, we definitely had some ups and downs, but we had a lot of downs. And, you know, we still, we took from that, we took the negatives and we built off from that. And I felt like we transferred some positives over to the next season and we actually had a better season, you know. So I think we're doing a good job and we're on the rise right now. While the Colonels registered their third ever win over an FBS team and snapped their Southland Conference losing skit, a few individuals had notable seasons on and off the field. Sophomore quarterback Toscani Figaro broke Nikia Lumar's single-season rushing record. Nichols also came in number one in the Southland in the academic progress rate, with senior defensive back Jordan Hanbury being named to the academic all-district team. Uh, I received the, the all-district academic award. Uh, I'm very excited, uh, humbled to receive the award, and you know just give credit to everybody who's helped me. As the team reflects on their achievements and struggles, there is consensus about what they will miss the most, the departing seniors. Just the seniors, the seniors that won't be here next year, you know, the ones that you, you know, mess around with or you're, you're next to in, your, in the locker room, or you might sit by them on the bus and, you know, you guys just get like a little, a little chemistry going and then, you know, they leave, they might go to work or, you know, further their career in football and you just won't be able to see them that much. The underclassmen certainly got their share of playing time this year. Now it's all about the offseason and what Nichols will do to take the next step. Uh, as the next step, I feel like now that we've we've gotten uh, we've got, we've gotten down, you know, the chemistry part. So now we just want to, you know, take that part of this field and just go with the plays, the mental aspect. Because I feel like we can, if we get more physical and then fit more physical preference, it will be better because I feel like we're mentally mostly everybody's in and we can, we're can we there in that aspect. This team is sad to see its core of tough-nosed seniors leave, but excited that the program is turning a new leaf. They'll continue to progress in the offseason and throughout spring camp. Until then, the Red and Gray get together one final time this Monday at their annual banquet. For the Charlie Stubb Show, I'm Amanda Kelly.